simple life doesn't mean easy life because if you're dreaming of a simple life it's a lot of work hard work here particularly if you live in the countryside And unlike what I did before when I was living in the city, like I was living in a single room before I came here, there was no garden, life was just simple. Though here, like, though here life is not easy, but you have to really work harder. And it's considerably more rewarding because you don't have to always work on the garden or anything you can co if you want to if you are using fire you do collect that day you collect uh, your firewood and then store them in the store if it's time for going to the chamber for the garden the garden to plant seeds you go you plant and then you wait for harvest before harvesting you love to weed the, the the plants which is not a lot of work but for someone who is from the city this might be a lot of work it's not that simple like for me in the beginning i used to see it as hard work but if you're dreaming of a simple life just let me tell you first hey, time that it's not that simple. But you can even hire, if you have money, you can hire people, casual laborers to do for you. So life is, for Katikati, it's in the middle for me, I'll say that. But it's not that easy if you're not used to this life. So guys, about time, uh, time is here in the village, mm, people might think that you have a lot more spare time for your hobbies, like reading, relaxing, and doing other stuff that you want, but guys, if you want to grow your own food and Maybe you have a piece of land, even a small piece of land. You can. Like a small piece of land to look after. It really consumes a lot of your spare time. So, like if you don't have a job, like me, I don't have a job currently, and that will be more manageable. Mostly like now that my mom is sick and she was the one who was, who was scheduling people to do work in the shamba. And now I'm the one. So time for relaxing and hobbies uh, and creating videos. I just take a little day at a time. To do that so like the this YouTube channel there's a lot of work to do like filming editing so my spare time is limited as a result of that so honestly I won't want any other way I really love making these videos and seeing the community that I've built around them. Friends too. I've got many friends here and week in, week out, your so, positive comments and support actually spares me a lot to keep going. So I really, really appreciate you all for that. Before you used to, my mom told me they used to wash themselves using this in the river. 
you can also wipe you can use it as a tissue if you see it around you can still use it for timing in a simple life for those who are as for this goes for those who are working you're going to spend most of your weekends doing boring routine tasks but it's also essential you can find a way to enjoy them or you can even hire someone to do to do the garden work so guys one of my favorite aspects about this lifestyle and like before is i get to be with my son and my mom all day every day and having moved here is a complete luxury guys so if you're thinking of locating i hope i have answered some of it so guys when it comes to money it's one of the biggest stresses for most people in modern life and it's also a big motivator for most people who want to live a simpler life as for me living here in the countryside has definitely helped me to reduce some of those financial pressures uh, particularly if you can like now i can afford to take my son to school to a good school and i don't have the bills the utility bills i can also save for for later if you can afford you can buy your own land if really you can afford to buy your own land and you want to come to the countryside like most people here in kenya many people have inherited farm from their grandfathers their ancestors so if you can afford also if you don't have land you can buy one without a loan or a mortgage this is this will really help you so it's not also a free living because some people will find that they need some what stable income solution like also here you have to buy other foods not getting from the farm you can buy sugar if you don't have cows you can buy milk yeah guys so but the difference is on how much you earn for every individual so that's what i'll say the good thing about living in the village is the concept of how people traditionally live like you can't sleep hungry because you can exchange someone will do labor for you and then in exchange you can give him food like maize or you can give him maize and the vegetables that you have and you won't sleep hungry so many things also many things as i told you requires that cash like you need you need money for medical mobile phones internet so and some people here can also live without yeah, them. Different. Most people here, they don't. It's, here. It reaches my it's not a necessity for them, but people like me but do not what want to, to do, give those that's things how country life in this day and age because I work for my phone. So, yeah. This road leads to the river. Oh, yeah that's where we go to fetch water at our stream so another thing we we'll talk about is loneliness yes loneliness is there like one expectation of this way of life uh, i'm pretty sure most other people will have is that when you live here and we have a farm or you just live around the countryside you spend most of your time living in your own little bubble 
with the people that I live with, mostly on my side. I'm not a, I'm not someone who likes talking a lot. Or you, maybe you can get me outside talking with uh, other people. So I left inside like the introvert I am. I like spending my my time alone so yeah guys so that's how it is if you are an extrovert this place is really good for you also if you are an introvert the same so it's 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 good for both of us um, and although i make youtube videos and and put some parts of how i live here guys don't be fooled i'm actually a, an introvert if you find me on the road <laughs> yeah guys so i never feel the need to go out and meet new people frequently but guys i'm really fortunate to have friendship with people here at my community on youtube i've created friends here yeah, guys. so modern technology it has been so easy to stay in touch with people here whether it's on whatsapp group social media video calls all that it really does allow me to stay connected guys even though we all live in different countries that being said the the hardest part of this lifestyle for me is missing my friends and some of my family members and the fact is that I live in another county like there in Nairobi city, Nairobi county, some are in Mombasa county, some are in Kisumu and I'm here in Kisi county so it also takes of time, money, and effort to meet her in person. So, yeah, guys. So, do I really feel for free or fulfilled since I've dropped into this lifestyle? Guys, to tell you the truth, <laughs> I certainly feel freer and more fulfilled than my previous life. Uh, though I'm living with my mom and at my age I'm supposed to stay alone but I feel more fulfilled since I'm here with my mom and I'm, I'm glad that I was still here and I'm still here like the other when like in October she fell down and Thank God I was around. And imagine if she was living alone. And someone who works here and she lives will be taken care of her. So I'm so fulfilled and it's such a blessing. I'm here and just on a day to day basis. And But I'm still trying to figure it all out. And I'm so grateful that living this lifestyle, I've gained so many new skills that I didn't know I have. And I've had so much more confidence. And it means that every new issue or difficulty anyone faces now, just know that there's love, life out here. Yeah, it's not a must to live in the modern city. Thank you.